Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a really, really special guest here. Here he is. What's up fam? It's your boy DJ Lawman. Hashtag the kickstand. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and on YouTube at DJ L O R M A N. And um, yeah, we're here. Oh, yeah, I am, I'm pretty tall, right? Yeah, I might just kneel down just a <laughs> nah, bit. No, 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 no. It's all good. Sorry, bro. It's all right. right. We're the same height. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're here to talk about what happened yesterday um, at SegaCon and to give you our top five, oh, top five topics that we want to bring up and, and discuss about, I guess. Yeah, man. Yesterday was an awesome event, I have to say personally, but there are, there's been a lot of feedback that we really wanted to address kind of thing. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. So just keep watching and let's get into this. Okay. Number one is the um, venue set up and all the space. Um, we had the convention center out at, at, um, at Melbourne and they used one of the halls there. Uh, that's probably one of the biggest spaces we've seen in like in swap meets ever, and I've yeah, done right. a fair amount. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And um, it was sparse, right? It was yeah. very big. There was such a huge amount of space there available. Uh, it's it it almost seemed like it was actually empty at some point, especially when we first walked in there. It looked really, really empty, like ghost town empty. But you know, as a as the day went through, mm -hmm. you know, we noticed that. A lot more people came in. It started to get started. Uh, more vendors started to come in, but then it still still had that empty vibe. Yeah, you know? and during the, the the peak times where everyone was in there, um, they didn't utilize the space a lot because there was this massive snake in line to see Kai's uh, Kai's and the Green Crew guys. Yeah, yeah. It was like three four hundred people, nearly a thousand people deep. Yeah, that's man. crazy. And, but the thing is, that was blocking other vendors like in the middle of the in the thing where yeah. we were. It was just blocking their like from people getting into them kind of thing. Yeah, and, and there, was, there was so much white space or blank space near to the back that you could have pushed everyone I know. around and you could have still got lines but it would be more, more in order. Yeah, that's true. That's the only thing that I can, I, I can see. But yeah, having a big space like that is, I think it, it makes it feel grander. So basically, yeah, I think that's the only little um, downside to the space, but otherwise I like the venue. Yeah, it was fantastic. I still liked it. All right, number two is um, the actual vibe of the day. The actual, the, there was no set program from uh, SneakerCon um, and there was no announcements about like special guests or if there's gonna be like a, like uh, like anyone addressing the crowds and all that. There was, did you see that stage? Yes, I did. That, that stage all by itself in that really blank open space. Yeah, yes, and, and it was in front of the, um, the trading pit, the SneakerCon uh, trading pit. It never got used. That's true. And oh, it did get used, but it was just for one like little announcement. And it was so muffled. I know. I was like, all for price check on what? What price check? Yeah. Anyway, but um, yeah, again, it sort of ties into top, um, 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 point number one is that space. It was just another dead space. Also, uh, people were expecting, and we've been reading this up on social media, um, like, oh, there's going to be a program, or there's going to be like a basketball game, or yeah. there's, or oh, Kai's going to caress the whole crowd with free giveaways, or and. And it was nothing of the sort. And a lot of people saying, we're disappointed about it. But SneakerCon never said anything about yeah, it. Yeah, they never said anything. It would have been awesome, I have to admit, if we had even... I saw a deli stand there with his brand. Oh, what was it? Peak? Was it Peak? I or think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peak. He, how good it would have been if at least deli was there, right? Yeah. Signing sne uh, you know, uh, sign sneakers yes. and you know, getting photos. That would have been good. But I reckon it would have been good if Ben Simmons was actually here. Yeah. But ben Simmons, man. Like, he's in the country and everything. He could have just... Made a little short appearance. That would have livened up the crowd, brought a like a more of a positive vibe to the actual. Event Maybe as even well. Patty Mills. Yeah, man. Anyone, any, 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 any player, uh, no, Australian NBA player, you still off off season. Come, I know, man. You know, come and support an event like this. I know. Well, it's not, like we could, there's no way we're gonna get like anyone like Ray Allen, but still, man, it would have been awesome if like some sort of uh, NBA player or you know people that actually wear sneakers, like yeah. Okay. Athletically. Yeah, athletically. Obviously. And supported so athletically to think. And Mate. actually came to the actual event. Okay. That would be great. Oh, but imagine if we did have like a sneaker YouTube basketball game or something like that. What they have in the States. That would yeah, be like in New York, uh, Chicago and in LA, they yeah. do, do have a game. We had but so much space for it too. We could have done it. Yeah, I mean, the, the space alone is nearly what, six or seven basketball courts. Yeah. Full-size basketball courts you can have it. Okay. Well, okay. Um, you know, let's go to point number three. And um, we're talking about the vendors, and um, there were, I feel there was wasn't enough vendors in the sense of selling stuff. Um, there was 
that was really cool displays. Like um, you probably see a video coming up on my channel um, showing um, the butter movement um, display. That was lit, that was crazy, lit. And also um, um, there were some other displays using your product. So basically, yeah, like we, I had a vendor space there. If you don't know, my brand is a sneaker. Ding. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do. Thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you had your brand there. Yes, we did. And the thing is, you got a. We had a bit of a deal done with one of the vendors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah, another vendor there contacted us. Maybe like, as if you guys been watching my previous vlogs, you would have known that one of the vendors there. His name's Shino. Really good guy. He had the booth called a Doctor Insults the Parks. You were you could have not missed it, right? There was a huge display of kicks there, uh, all rare sneakers, and he had to use yours truly's rock box there. So it was really good. Yeah. Uh, value wise, I think it was really good. Still, it was like worth honestly one hundred and fifty dollars an actual table. But uh, we found that it was a really it was really still really good value for us. Because we were able to build our brand, a lot of the sneaker community were able to see us, and uh, yeah, it was it's it was, it was just being it was just fantastic being a part of the whole event. Yeah, that matches. I, I think we matched up three and four, which is my mistake. But I was saying, but uh, it's really great that his brand got exposed, and we, when we was at the table, like we're going, hey, did you see that display? The big ass display that Sheena have. Yeah. They used our boxes or yeah. his boxes, and like, wow, really? That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So, so. There's always that collaboration point, um, but of course the negativity side was like, oh, I couldn't find bargains, or everything was over, everything was overpriced, or everything was, um, you know, not in my size. And when we say we need, I think they need more vendors. Like you said, it was 150 bucks at yeah. a standard table. Um, you know, um, smaller events like sneaker freakers, like the kickstands events, we do it on a cheaper scale, which is a bit more uh, uh, affordable and reachable. 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. If you're not selling anything, yeah, it's man. a big, it's a fair amount of investment. Yeah. But if you were to like, uh, if you're selling stuff, then you have to make sure it's like, okay, have I made one hundred fifty dollars? Also, have I made um, enough brand awareness that fu that future sales will happen? And I think that part, I think you're you're you should be really happy with. Yeah. You know, there's so much brand awareness there with like you know, literally two stands of your brand in people's faces, which yeah. is really great to see. Yeah. So basically, other there. Are, there are so many other sneaker events out there, like the Kickstand, Sneaker Freaker, that you know they charge a lot less, and we appreciate that, you know. But one thing, good thing I wanted to say about SneakerCon is it was one hundred fifty dollars, but they gave you four free vendor tickets there. So you know, they, it kind of evens out in some way. Uh, it would have been really good for some other people because that technically one fifty that could be just one shoe, and that's their whole, uh, you know, that's their whole store paid uh store rent paid for already mm. so there's a, like you know there's a lot of uh, really good things really bad things about the actual uh vendor space some people might have complained that it was t it was too narrow there wasn't enough space but you know we, we weren't complaining we were just happy that we, we, we like we were there basically yeah. and we had our brand present and uh yeah and finally point number five is did you really enjoy the day Honestly, my own personal opinion, I have to say yes. Okay, uh, I know a lot of guys there that have been waiting how long they were waiting in that snake queue. Did you actually see the queue? I did not see the queue because I was working the table the whole yeah. day. I, was, I did not see the entry, but I heard stories of snaking inside the inside so and long. then went down the street. It was so long. Actually, I still went to go see the line and it was so long. Oh, it looked like a concentration camp. Can I say that? <laughs> No, it was, it was, you're thinking about Nazi Germany. Come on, man. <laughs> it was just there were just so many people there, and uh, uh, I couldn't imagine myself waiting there for like more than an hour, two hours. Gosh, yes. man. it was. I heard an hour and ten was the longest wait, and that was at the peak time where um where like everyone's trying to get in. I don't know a lot of people pre-purchase tickets, yeah. um, but yeah, you when I was speaking to all, speaking to all the people that came up after the table, I'm going. I asked them, how long was it? It was like 45 minutes, an hour. Even uh, at about 4 o'clock, it was like still 45 minutes, still 30 minutes. Yeah. And that's like, that's pretty manic. Unless they didn't have enough people like checking people in. But again, that's that's all logistics for SneakerCon um, uh, management to think about. Um, and, and I'm guessing they have experienced that as well yeah. in, in other, in other, uh, in other um, states and countries that they've done it in. Um, firstly, personally for me, 
um, I really enjoyed it as well because um, I got to see all my friends um, uh, in, in, the, in the sneaker community. Would you believe I met pe uh, people from uh, all around Australia. The only people I didn't see uh, met was people from the Northern Territory and Canberra. But people from Tasmania, all the way from WA, South Australia, up in Queensland, even people from New Zealand, bro. That's it. All right. Oh, yeah, and there was a vendor from from Indonesia that came through. Yeah, Jakarta. Jakarta uh, kicks. Uh, Kickstart. Uh, yeah, so, we'll, yeah, we'll plug them somewhere. Yeah. But basically, they had a massive uh, wall of kicks by about hour three. All gone. All gone. No word of a lie because they had so much um, heat that the kids won. And the other thing is for me, I um, there were so much kids that were there just to see Kais, and that's how and and, and, and the Green Cuckoo. And there's so much people there who who are uh, just like sneakerheads or, or, or street web uh, uh, aficionados just just wanting to you know just converse as a community. And I think um, I'm hoping that they do come back next year, bigger and better. And for sure, we'll, we'll probably involve be okay. involved one way or the other. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll be there. Like I mean, a, a lot of people might have said some negative things about SneakCon, but it it always usually depends on you, right? If you're there for the community, then you'd be happy if you bought a pair of shoes or not. I personally, I didn't buy any shoes at all. I bought just merch and a couple of, like a keychain and a t-shirt from the sneak con because I actually wanted to have something that said, can I get it? Nah, I'll, I'll get it. But no, we're not plugging <laughs> their merch. We're going to plug our merch. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I just, um, it was just, just good to be there. And honestly, I wasn't there for that long but because I had my man here helping me out. I just want to be, do a really big shout out to... My man, low man, for holding down the sneaker air booth while I wasn't there. Also to Hanson, I love you, little bro. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. Uh, big, uh, big shout out to my wife as well. Thank you for being there and looking pretty. And bro, we got to talk about something else, man. Yes, that's right. Um, September twenty four in Sydney. Um, your your crew from the Kickstand will be doing the More Than Sneakers Lifestyle Tour. Um, we were in tour for like. It technically you can call it a tour. Uh, we did a free stop tour this year. We started off in Adelaide in June. That's it. We did Brisbane in July. That's and it. And we're doing our home event in Sydney. Um, and Sydney. Sydney, yeah. That's it. Right. And the biggest thing is, one, one of the biggest draw attractions is these these guys, Snake Air, will be at the event. That's so, um, so Sydney fam, this is the first time you'll be seeing the Sneaker Air rock boxes and all their product, um, you know, uh, in the flesh. And... We always got to support local, and that's what we try to do uh, uh, every time when we do these events. So uh, make sure you get out there. We'll plug the the image right here on our faces, on my face. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're if you're still interested, that's the thing. If you're still interested in being a vendor, make sure you contact um, info at the kickstand .com .au, um, and we'll let you know. Um, um, you know, if we still have space, sixty dollars for a, a, a business like. My mark here, or game. if you're if you've got a couple of mates and you got a bunch of sneakers and stuff, it's only fifty bucks a table. So that's pretty good value, that's right? That's value, bro. Come on, think about it. If you want to sell your stuff, that's like that's less than a shoe, bro. That's less than a shoe, man. Not even a shoe. That, 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 that's that's a that's a t shirt. That's a t shirt, yeah, right? Yeah, man. You sell a t shirt. That's it. That's all your. That's a rent for your actual table, bro. Cool. And also the cool thing about our, our, our event, and we're talking about cost, right? It was twenty seven bucks to get in. Yeah, before that's it, man. It's only two dollars to get into our event. And you get um, a, a raffle ticket, I believe, and I'm, I'm going to say this only on my channel that we could be, no, we could be, no, we are going to be raffling off a pair of Yeezys. You heard it first. Yeah? Yeah. That's the first time I heard about it. That, that, that's right. See, he well, was talking about it. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not saying this for clickbait, this is legit. We're How many raffle tickets are we allowed to get, bro? Right? <laughs> okay, you get, one, you get one, two raffle tickets when you enter in, you can buy it multiple raffle tickets at the kickstand table. There you go, man. How much are you guys going to get, man? You want these Yeezys, you better get into it. I want these Yeezys. Gosh, right. man. But also, we, we've got other things going on today. We've got to have food vans. We'll, um, you know, other prizes as well. We're going to be raffling off. you got these guys here. you got um, a bunch of interstaters coming through with, with all this stuff. And those people who are saying that um, the SneakCon event is not comparable to the TKS event, well, of course it's not. But, you know, we... we as I like to say in all my videos, we do it for the people, we do it for the community, we do it for the culture. That's it. That's it. And that's what you really want, guys. Seriously. So, I'll be seeing you guys there on September 20... September 24. That's right. Um, Parramatta PCYC. Um, and two, 12 Hassel Street, Parramatta. Um, it's only 300 metres 
um, from the Parramatta train station. So it's easy to get to, free parking on Sundays. Um, yeah, as I said, $2, $2 entry fee includes a raffle ticket. And yeah, we will be raffling off a pair of Yeezys. And if we don't, then you can come up to me and say, Lawrence, why are we not raffling off a he'll, pair of Yeezys? He'll give you the Yeezys. <laughs> my pair of Yeezys? My Yeezys are, my Yeezys are beat. I want, my, my Yeezys are beat, man. But no, we, we will be giving a pair of uh, Yeezys amongst other other pairs of, of cool sneakers from Limited Edition and from ASICS. So um, there's so much stuff that's happening and um, I can't wait for it to happen because it's going to be crazy. Yeah, so we hope to see you guys there. Uh, it will be really good to actually see the sneaker community once again in Sydney. Uh, I actually have to go plug out Nate Burger because I have... I haven't tasted their stuff yet because I'm from Melbourne and I can't wait to actually taste it. But uh, it's going to be such a really good event there. So I really hope to see you guys there. We'll have a big display there. So seriously guys, just come say hi. You don't even know, need to buy some stuff. We just want to be a part of the actual community and actually talk to you guys because sneakers is what we like and what we love and that's where we want to be. You yeah. Know? Well, thanks very much. Uh, thanks uh, Tamar for letting me um, be on his channel. And um, yeah, we will see you in Sydney, I guess. That's it. Alright, thanks once again guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you really like this video, please give a thumbs up. We will also, oh, uh, we'll link um, Lawman stuff down below too. Please follow him, he's a really good YouTuber. We, let's get this YouTuber thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot, I don't know. Anyway, there will be a video with um, with all the review I did of um, Zencon. And um, just on the low, I do have a bunch of the YouTube, the sneaky YouTube. I'm so there. jealous. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous. Oh, I don't, don't want to get into it, guys. I, mean, I don't want to. He's jealous.